Hey guys, Ryan here, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be covering what I believe are the best methods of using WhatsApp on Linux, and that's either use it through a web browser or a standalone desktop application. So, when it comes to using WhatsApp on Linux, there's not actually an official desktop application. With that being said, if you access WhatsApp through a web browser, then you'll find that the experience is going to be identical to using a web browser on Windows in that you can create groups, you can send messages, and you can basically chat to all your contacts. The downside, of course, of the web version of WhatsApp is that it doesn't support video or audio calling. In fact, to my knowledge, the only way that you can use video and audio calling on the PC platform is if you install and use the WhatsApp application found in the Microsoft Store. So how do you use WhatsApp in a browser on Linux? Honestly, it's easy. The first thing you need to do is install and sign into the WhatsApp app on your Android or iPhone and then navigate to web.whatsapp.com. From here you'll be greeted with a QR code. So let's scan that off my phone now. And as you can see at this point, you're now signed into your account where you can move between all of your messages, your unread messages and all of your groups. But what do you want to do if you want to use a standalone desktop application instead? Well, as I mentioned earlier, there isn't actually an official WhatsApp application available for Linux, but there are quite a few alternatives to take note of. And my personal recommendation is to look at the unofficial WhatsApp desktop client, which effectively takes the web version of WhatsApp and then wraps it into a nice standalone desktop application. Plus, since this is available as a flat pack, then you should be able to install and use this on any Linux distribution out there. So how do you install it? Well, first, navigate to flathub.org and then click on the option here where it says set up flat hub. From here you want to select the Linux distribution that you're using. Now in my case I'm using Ubuntu so I'm going to go for the option here for Ubuntu. And from here it's just a matter of following the instructions and then rebooting to finish the process. Now that Flatpak support has been enabled for your installation we can install the client. Once again on the WhatsApp desktop page you want to click on the big blue button here where it says install. Then we'll click on the file that's downloaded which in my case has opened it up in GNOME software. From here, it's just a matter of launching the application as normal. Once again, we're gonna be greeted with a QR code. So again, I'm gonna just scan this with my mobile phone. And again, as you can see, we're pretty much looking at the same exact layout of the web because that's really what it is. It's just the web version of WhatsApp in a standalone desktop environment rather than just a browser tab. And that's it really, all done. So in conclusion, if you use WhatsApp as your primary messaging service, then having it available on your Linux desktop is a massive boon. I mean, that being said, it is a shame that audio and video calling is not supported like its Windows counterpart. But in either case, thanks for watching this video today. If you found the video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and if you want to support this channel, smash that subscribe button. Thanks again, and I'll catch you again very, very soon. Bye then.